Hello, everyone. Welcome to NCAA Basketball 10. I haven't played this one in a little while, so I figured it would be a fun one to stream, especially now that our uh, fictional Cleveland State Vikings aren't half bad. So let's uh, let's look at our roster here. Let me just uh, take a quick picture for uh, Snapchat. I want to make sure. Usually I remember to do that before I go live, but let me uh, take a picture now so that we can say that I'm streaming on Twitch. You know, got to get the word out so people know to tune in. Plus, I put the link right in there so people can watch on their phone. It's really easy. Either way, back to the game. We have Brian Randall, who is our four-star recruit. 77 overall center, 7'2". 78 overall junior. And then three seniors, who are 74, 76, and 79. But we'll take it considering how bad this team was when we first took it over. We're happy with, you know, a bunch of high 70s, considering the one year it was like 75 was our best player. We were bad. I mean, only one player is worse than a 70 overall. Granted, he's a senior. So what, we have four seniors? A lot of red shirts. Pretty much everybody except for these two, because they're really good, has been red shirted at some point. So, interesting, obviously. So let's, um... Look at recruiting first before we dive into the season, because then we'll have a week. I don't think I did recruiting last time. Hope not. We'll find out. Um, looking at our shortlist, it looks like I have done recruiting. Because I have targets who are two and three star guys. And I think that's about it. Have I? Okay, I did send the letter of interest. We have four scholarships. Now, the good thing is, if we can get these three stars, the three of them, you know, suddenly we get an extra year because they're not going to start as freshmen. We don't need them immediately, which is a positive. So before... Wow, we don't have any games the first week. Let's um, simulate, then, our first week here. And then we can see how recruiting's going. Hopefully we can get our four scholarships to three three stars and then, you know, a decent two-star, you know? No games, no games. wonder how quick this game would go with uh, with an SSD instead of just the hard di with the hard disk drive that there is normally. So, I will say, by the way, if you notice, I have a band-aid here because of uh, whatever happened to my face. So, you don't have to look at that disgusting discoloration now. You can just see a little band-aid. Okay, the three, three stars are still... I mean, I'll give them all scholarship offers immediately because they'll probably sign with us. Especially because we're not going to be terrible. I figure what I'll probably do is look at the uh, pipeline guys. For the amount of money we have. The amount of, uh, not even money. It's friggin'... I don't even know what to call it. Um, either way, actually, let's, uh, let's see if we can get some... Uh, you know, a little more info about these guys. We'll do the internet research at least. Because then that way we'll at least know, okay, these are their stats. And while we won't spend anything else on them because they're all going to just sign with us in the next week, we'll at least know what their stats were, in theory. Let's look at who's in the pipeline that we've targeted. Okay. So this is the best guy in the pipeline. Let's, um... We'll do internet research. We'll watch a game as well. I'm not worried about the visits, though. I figure we want to see if we can scout them as well as we can. Because if one of these two guys has excellent um, excellent um, potential, that's what we want out of a two-star guy. Realistically, we do need a two-guard more so than a, than a four. And we're getting two small forwards, which is our other position of need. So we're doing okay. Okay, C inside game and C rebounding. We might get it, though. I mean, we're going to get a two-star recruit, probably a two-star shooting guard, and definitely at least someone with average potential, which apparently Carlisle is at least average potential. For some reason, they'll give, they will give you some of the info, but not enough of it, I feel like. 
They give you, like, a little bit here and there when you don't really have it. So, by the way, let's uh, simulate a week. We'll have our first two games, both at home. I decided to play a super easy schedule, once again, because I'd rather us win 20 games when we're not good enough to win the conference it's not worth us to play you know games we might actually lose a bunch of so instead let's try and be like you know 11 and 0 or something i don't know if we won the first game because once again this is just bad ui design just totally just like who was like mm, let's let's make sure that this that the simulated thing covers up half of like half of the sundays in a in a given month that's so dumb. Hey, we're 2-0. That's good. Let's go to recruiting. I bet you we have only one scholarship remaining. Yep, we got those three guys. And these two, we haven't offered either of them scholarships yet. We do need to do more. Let's see, he has some potential, but right now he's only an average rebound. Don't be surprised. If this guy is a two-star recruit who's that good to declare for the draft, I seriously would like to know who the hell this kid thinks he is. Truly. And this guy, Sam Lee... Let's see, C plus F and B passing. Okay, that's not terrible, though. I mean, that's not bad. He can shoot from three. He can pass a little bit for a shooting guard. What's this guy? Did he do better on, like, the... Oh, we have. he hasn't done the 20-meter sprint stuff yet. I thought... I don't know how we figure that out or not. I thought I did internet research on him. I guess not, because that's how I found out all that info. So we know a C- minus overall and a D- plus overall, which is, again, not great. The other three guys are, we don't know their overalls. We can't. We also can't look at anything for them, which is kind of annoying. We we don't know about C, C inside game or C rebounding yet. And apparently, I don't know. I don't know what to make of any of that stuff, truly. Sometimes it's very... Who knows, you know? Some of it's very weird, this game. But I like it. I mean, it's the last one... I do wonder how good College Hoops 2K8 is, but that game costs like three times as much as this one does now, and this one would sell for like 60 bucks at least, if not more. So it's like I would like NCAA basketball, like College Hoops 2K8, because, I mean, it, it was a decent game, except for the fact that you shot free throws by using the 6-axis, uh, because that was the original controller with the PS3. They didn't want to pay for Rumble, so that's why it wasn't called the DualShock 3. I have DualShock 3s because I have a PS3 Slim, but those original fat ones, there was no rumble, but they put, like, a gyro in here. So the way to shoot free throws in some of those old games was to literally lift up and shoot with the controller. Which is so stupid, but also exactly what you would want from, like, a game like this. Like, in the mid to late 2000s, it's like, oh, we have this new technology, let's give it a shot. Oh, we lost. Darn. But it was close, we only lost by, like, two? That's not bad then. You know, we'll live with we'll live with that truly. Can't complain. So hopefully we'll keep doing well, we'll get good recruits, and then suddenly we'll have some 80 overall guys, because next year, if we have a bunch of 80 overalls, I'll schedule a really tough non-conference schedule and put in a bunch of ranked teams. Because if we have, like, two or three dudes who are 80s overall, you know, I can't complain. We're 5-1. and one. We're not going to be ranked because we aren't playing anyone good. Okay, let's see. What have we found out about those two pipeline guys? They're both kind of not great. We just don't know anything. Why can't we find out this info about this guy? Review game film? I don't understand why certain info we can get from doing these things and certain we can't. Like, this guy, we know his, um, all of these numbers, which we don't have for this guy. He can do things with the ball that we've rarely seen. The guy's not that good. We'll wait a week and then we'll see, because one of these two is going to get our last scholarship. Don't know which, but one of them will. Oh, that you're, con you're telling us that our one loss is a key loss? Really? Is George Washington that bad? I mean, maybe... Let's see. Oh, it doesn't say what the uh, record is for them. Whatever. I'll deal with we. I'll deal with uh, upgrading the um, team facilities and stuff after this sim, because that is something. Because we've won our home opener, that's something that we got. 
and then maybe if we're you know five and one we suddenly get something better than that so who knows either way the recruiting in this is not nearly as fun as as in NCAA Football 14. I don't know. I'm just ragging on this game. This this 12-year-old game that I am choosing to play. So clearly I get some sort of enjoyment out of it. I wouldn't be playing it if I didn't. But, and I will play if we get to the conference championship game. That's for sure. Like in the conference tournament to make the tournament. Okay, let's look at these two. We know that he is a D rebounder. Okay, we still don't know his potential yet. Two years of college ball before going pro. If this dude is that good that he somehow for two year, gets two years of college ball before going pro, then fine. Go ahead. Run away. Oh, we're not number one with him. That's interesting. Send a scout. So we have this stuff all then. Oh, he's only shooting 40.5% from three. We still don't know about this guy in New Jersey. Do they not, do they not like keep stats in New Jersey or something? Or does their college basketball season not start to like December? Also, it's weird that New Jersey is one of our pipelines. We're in Cleveland, of all places. Weird. Let's um, simulate another week and see what we can do. We're going to beat Air Force and the uh, University of Louisiana at Lafayette. It's telling me to drink water? Yep. My Fitbit's telling me to drink water, so I'm drinking up. If you're watching the archive and are someone who comments on YouTube or Twitch, make sure you comment with like a water bottle emoji or something if there is that, or a water glass emoji. Do it for the, uh, do it for the, uh, clicks. We are now 7-1, and one, which is very good. But we're also playing nobody good. Okay, so we now have our stats for everybody. Excellent potential for him. Excellent potential for him. I mean, I'm going with the guy who's just better, I would think. Which would be this guy, Aldridge. Because he is B minus, C minus, F. It took us like a month to do this. He has the potential to be a very, very special player. I mean, yeah, I'll just offer him the scholarship and that'll be it. Because I'm not going to have to worry about anything else. He's going to sign with us, no doubt. Yeah, I mean, he's... He's apparently a good inside finisher. He's a four. Seems like the perfect type of player. And I mean, excellent potential is good also for this guy, but we don't have any more scholarships for him, and he's just not as good as the other player. You know, he's just... He's a good shooter, but not that good. I mean, we don't need a shooting guard technically because we've gotten a commit from one. So, I mean, I think we're fine. I think we're totally fine. We'll get Aldridge. Unless if he doesn't sign, then I'll get Lee. Either way, that's an excellent potential recruit, which is awesome. That's what we want. And let's, um... Oh, shoot, I forgot. I'll wait another week. Once we get through scholarship stuff, I'll upgrade things, and then I'll figure out other stuff. But yeah, so instead of worrying about picking at something on my face, I'm just picking at the uh, band-aid. Rubbing it in, I suppose. You know, I'm just gonna. I should say that I got cut up in a boxing match or something like that. That would be that. That makes me sound a lot tougher than I am. So that's something. Also, I'm streaming now because I have a class. Oh, we lost one of these games. That's not good. That we went. That we're now seven and two. It's actually very bad. And we got the guy. Great. So in terms of current caliber. We got essentially four of the top five guys. He's almost a four-star at this rate. I mean, both all three of them are in the top 250, which is good for three stars. And then 445 isn't bad. He'll move up, I think. And the other dude, Lee, we were looking at is uh, 553. So he's actually the worst of everybody we were looking to recruit. So now, looking at the recruiting challenge, I don't know about those two, but we definitely did... Um, some of our recruiting objectives according to the boosters so apparently that wasn't a key loss i guess or was it okay no that was a key loss they're now saying that our george washington loss wasn't a key loss but yeah losing to i don't even know would the university of san diego at home i mean come on is someone hurt doesn't look like it 
Yeah, no, no one's hurt. Everyone's just kind of playing. We're, we're going 12 deep? In what world are we going 12 deep? Unless if dudes got hurt. I'm scared that if he's averaging 20 and 10 as a sophomore, he's going to go. He's not averaging good enough numbers that he would go pro. And these are all seniors anyway. So let's, um, injury report. Okay, so he's not, he wouldn't be playing anyway, so that's fine. Let's go to message center. Medical staff. Invalid. Invalid date. Quality, quality game programming. Let's see, what's our coach report card right now? 74%. We're staying here for a while, and that's not our right overall record. They take, for some reason, we took when we took over, we got that season's record for Cleveland State and not for us. When they won, like, six games and we won 15, like we were 500, so... My record, that's not accurate. The career numbers aren't. Um, as you can see, though, I do really well in scheduling easy teams in non-conference play, and then we don't do as well in conference play. But that's okay. I still have a contract for, um, you know, a couple more seasons. So we should get an extension, I would assume. We've been at Cleveland State, yeah, for five years now. Which, you know, we'll take it. And alumni challenge result, let's figure out which unlock we want. We can do weight room. I like to do them evenly. Weight room, study hall, or injuries clinic. I think we'll do the weight room here. And then next up will probably be the uh, study hall. Just to make sure. And then everything else is done. Oh, wow. A lot of invalid recruiting emails. And some other things about people who they're looking at and whatever. Oh, man. No, I don't really care what you have to say. I don't, I mean, you you can tell I've never read those emails before. So looking at conference standings, I know conference play hasn't started yet. Wright State is 0-10, good lord. I mean, we're 7-2, which is good. I mean, there are a lot of teams that aren't that good in this conference. We should be able to finish in the top four, I would think. Considering, looking at our non-conference, I realize we're not playing that many good teams, but... Yeesh, one and five. They haven't scored any points. I mean, we're not that bad considering we've played the most games. We're scoring a nice amount. I mean, yeah. Do I want to change our team style from up-tempo? I don't think so. I think we're kind of just playing and playing well. So I'm not really going to complain considering I think we have enough talent to play up-tempo. When you don't have as much talent, slowing things down makes sense because fewer possessions means means you know luck matters more in each possession that's what like cleveland state does now the current team and god they pissed me off over the weekend they lost a game Wait, why am i simulating a week i'm just gonna simulate the whole thing here well, at least sim to uh, i'll sim to uh, i'll sim through the 31st here so we can see the rest of our uh non-conference games to make sure that we have 10 wins going into uh, conference play, which means if we win 10 and co we could have a 21 season, which we have not had at all? I don't think. Maybe we've had, no, I think we've had 19 wins, not 20. We've had a couple 19 win seasons, but not 20. That's for sure. Don't know how we did in those games. Find out. Let's see here. And? Hey, look at that. So as I was saying about the uh, current Cleveland State team, that really frustrates me is that they can't make free throws. And that bit them in a loss in overtime against Milwaukee. They were up 13 with less than two minutes to go and collapsed. I mean collapsed. There is no other word to describe that other than collapsed because they let Milwaukee beat them with pressure. Excuse me. And they missed free throws Cleveland State and Milwaukee kept making threes and Milwaukee stole the game. 
Cleveland State was at home, and they should have won, and they didn't, and that was really disappointing. They're still 10-2 and in conference, which is really good, but it's kind of a problem when you're, you know, losing like that, because they also give up the 40-0 run. It, those are really concerning moments. They make me think that, like, I mean, the talent really is not good there still. They have some guys who can show flashes who are really athletic, but then they also have players who it's like, I don't want you touching the ball. I don't want you on the court, and you're playing 25 minutes in a college game, and you just have to live with it, and they're doing okay enough. So we right now, we right now have 12 wins this season. I'm, ass I'm assuming Loyola Chicago will be a win. Okay, 13. All I know is if we beat Butler, that would be huge. So... Tonight I have class from 7 to 9. It's a computer science class that I, um, it's the first meeting of it because technically two new, my, two new classes for me started today. I already did a bunch of the work for them last week and I'll probably do it this week, but I want to wait till I at least have had a class meeting before going and starting the work for any of these classes. That's not bad though. We've won 14 now, so potentially 15. We may have like, we may, we may win 20 games. We're probably losing it, but losing to Butler at home. Let's see. Yep, wasn't even close. Not even close. Cause Butler is really good in this game, and we're not that good yet. We're getting there. We're we're getting there. I mean, we're getting a bunch of recruits who are our recruits, and they're staying for five years essentially. You know, sudden. You know, five years a seventy a seventy guy becomes an eighty two. By the time he's a senior, suddenly that's really valuable. So we have five wins. So we have at least 15. Can we get five more wins in February? That's the real question. Yes, I know it said December and then moved to February. We got one there. I mean, I see one, two, three wins. Actually, four wins, probably here four more wins is what we need that's not good okay i see three wins now because <laughs> i see valpo butler and udm probably winning but maybe we can beat win one of those and then if we do suddenly that's five wins and we get to 20 okay well we can't beat valpo at home great following night in green bay which they would never schedule in the horizon because it's all bus trips. You're not going to tell me you're going to have you're going to host Valpo and the following day have to sh have to schlep it up to Green Bay. That's not going to happen. It's unrealistic. I can understand potentially doing That's why they would actually have like the pairs for all the for all the travel pairs. So usually it was like Cleveland State and Youngstown State were the travel pair cuz they're not that far apart and it's like you played you'd play one on Friday, one on on Sunday or one on Thursday, one on Saturday. That makes sense, or you'd, think, or you'd be hosting the two teams. So obviously, it was Green Bay and Milwaukee. It became Butler and Valpo at the time. Detroit, I'm not sure who they were paired with. Um, maybe Wright State, I'm not really sure. Seriously, we lost that game? God, we're not going to be a 20-win team, probably. Uh, continue simulation since we got our recruits. It doesn't matter. We lost that one, too. So, at most, we will have 19 wins. Well, there are 18 or 19 wins. Not bad, but we also probably went about 500-ish, maybe a little worse than that, in conference play. Once again, not what we want. We would like to do better than that and actually win the conference, but when you're in a conference with Butler, it's very tough to win the conference. Let's see where we're at here. 19 and 11, so we did win that one game. Once again, if we win one more game, we get to... I'm surprised that the 12th dude on the bench has somehow played it all this year. Like, they don't even put them in, in garbage time normally when you sim. Who knows? Luckily, his numbers, as bad as it sounds, his numbers went down. Both of them did, so neither of them are going to go pro after this year. Let's look at the message center, if there's anything interesting. Medical staff. Okay, Henry. Okay, he's back to normal. Okay, Roach is back. 
And then Roach got hurt for nine days, so I assume this means he's good to go. Which one's Roach? I'll have to check. Invalid! Yay. Coach report card update. Let's see. 88%, because I'm winning. Oh, wow, we did go 500 in conference. That's pretty good. 19 and 11 is respectable. We beat our rival twice. No one can complain about that season. That's just a decent year. Are we going to make the NCAA tournament? Probably not. Okay, Roach is one of our starters, so it's not good that he's hurt. I mean, we're averaging a decent number of assists, considering... I mean, we do start three point guards and have two more as our six and seven guys. So there's that. Now, Marshall's played well off the bench, which is good. So let's go to the conference tournament here. Hopefully we win the first game. Like I said, if we make the conference title game, I will play that. I assume it's a neutral site game against Milwaukee because we're in the middle of the conference. Hopefully we win. Good! We're going to move on then. Loyola, who shouldn't be that good. We may actually... I may be playing a game in this. I may actually be playing this game. Like, playing, playing it. Also, we have ourselves a 21 season. I do want to check and see... Because we know the one year I did not have it. No, this is the first time I've won 20 games. This record is wrong because it should... I think we went like 14 and 16. We we were about 500 in our two years at UC. Then we went 19 and 12, 12 and 19. So those two cancel each other out. 7 and 24, which is 17 below. 7 and 9 is 16. So we're almost 500 again overall. As you can see, we play a lot of home games. Significantly more than on the road. We've played, God, let me do the math real quick, 135 home games versus 83 road games. That's like twice as many. That that helps us, you know? Maybe next season we'll go on the road. So let's, um, we're not going to play it. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do it like that. We have to win this game and then somehow beat Butler to make the finals. I don't think that's going to happen. Let's simulate and see. Did we win? We did! Let's go. 21 wins this season. Let's see. I doubt that we are considered anything for bracketology. Are we on the bubble at all? The answer to that question is no, because Detroit did really well. And we are not Detroit. Let's look at the conference standings then. I mean, nine losses to Horizon League teams is not going to be good enough. Automatic bid on the bubble. They're just not in Valpo. And then we aren't on the yeah, three key losses. They have two key wins. 